What's up everybody? How's it going? I'm your host Steve Ricardo. Welcome back to my show. Today on this channel we're going to do a little discussion about protection of your guitars or basses. Um, there's about three basic levels of protection. Whether you're going on a tour, whether you're playing local shows, or whether you're just going to rehearsal or a local jam or something. So it's important because this is your instrument. You're paying money for this gear and you want it to make it from A to B. And if it doesn't, there's different <laughs> consequences that can really be a piss off if you don't get to that. So without further ado, I've got a couple things in line here. Let's go with something basic, right? So let's start from just going to jam, just going to rehearsal, somewhere simple. So with that, bingo, all right? This is your basic, simple gig bag, one version of it. There's lots of different ones. And uh, yeah, let's tear into this one. I'll show you some more information about the pros and the quos of this particular case. All right, so this sucker. So here we go. Um, real straightforward. It's nothing much to it. Put a V in here. Put a Gibson in here. Put a Strat in here. And this is what you're basically left with. It's got some cushion in it. It's not bad. I mean, it'll go in the trunk of your car. It's not exactly something that you would have taken to an airport. Or to me, I wouldn't take this to a gig if you're loading all your stuff in the back with your drums and your cabs and... If a cab falls over while you're touring or while you're going to your local show, yeah, this might not protect it as well, you know. And plus, if you see these guys throwing these luggages into the airplane, this is not something you want to be taking with you for that. So, local gigs, yeah, no problem. So, retail, about 100, 150 bucks for the no-name ones. This is one style of it, so, you know, the Gibsons are a little bit more expensive, but generally, yeah. All right? So that's level one. All right, level two. So more so going to gigs, maybe you know, across Canada, sort of, maybe a couple shows, a little mini tour, and you're going to be wanting something to protect your guitar. So basically, a Les Paul case, right? Real simple, pretty durable, not bad. So. It actually holds up pretty good. And uh, these retail 150 and up, right? So it sits in there, it cushions your guitar really well, it holds it in place, which is important. You don't want it to move around a lot because if it moves around a lot, that means you're not protecting the neck, especially the headstock. You know, uh, guitars like this. This is the first thing that's going to break is your headstock. I bought items on eBay and Amazon and I've gotten them crushed, broken headstock. So these are level two protections. Pretty good. It'll take a pretty good beating. If you get the ones with the arch top, a little bit more padding, and it kind of forms a dome over your guitar. So not bad. So this is your level two. It's kind of like what you want, right? So... Put a padlock on it. Would I take these on a plane? FTA approved? Ah, probably not. If I'm carrying it on the plane, sure. But uh, yeah. All right. So there's that one. Now, if you are a V owner, Jackson V, Schecter, Solar, you get these suckers, right? Big, standard, huge obnoxious rectangle case all right so if you've got a V they're gonna move around a lot they will this one's empty by the way but it it'll sit where it's supposed to sit but at the same time it will move around your headstock is gonna move around in there unless you put some pillows and maybe put some padding and Maybe a t-shirt. You've seen those guys that put the t-shirt and a pillow on a t-shirt and a t-shirt and kind of secure everything in. And this is like the other case. It's not exactly, it's basically cardboard, you know, heavy duty. Will it protect it? Yeah. Will it do an awesome job? No. Would I be worried? Yeah. 
So for touring, thumbs down. Local shows, mini tour, no problem. Watch where you put your gear when you're loading it in your truck. So, but otherwise, yeah. If that makes any sense. So, okay, now we're gonna get to the creme de la creme of cases. This is the stuff you want to protect your goods. So, you've seen the Les Paul one, right? So that's the Les Paul one. So now, SKB um, is one of the cases that I love using for touring. You can throw them off a freaking building. Um, they are amazing. They are durable. Um, they are, you know, your, your TSA standard for flight stuff. So lockable, protected, lots of padding, um, ABS, plastic coating, machined, molded injection kind of stuff. So SKB are really awesome. There's also Gator. I know Gator makes a few of them. And Roadrunner slowly over the years have made some. But this is your standard Les Paul. Big latches, lots of protection, big handle, and this is your creme de la creme of basically keeping your gear safe. Everything's held down there. Lots of styrofoam, lots of padding in there, lots of padding on the sides. And, you know, you've got a nice compartment. Put your stuff in there. Uh, I've traveled to green jello shows just with basically guitar, my cable. And that's really all I really need when I go on the road for him. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this is where you want it. It ain't going anywhere. And even here, it's a little bit of got a bit of a, a recess in the top headstock, so a bit of angle, so it kind of forms the headstock of Les Paul LTDs because they're all sort of in the same general. They're never straight, so they've always got a bit of a angle on them. So for Les Pauls, this is your one. They do make them, Fender does make them for their strats, for their tellies. You're looking anywhere between $299 to $399 for your, uh, your SKB cases. For your V players, like that rectangular one when I showed you, right. So, does it work? Yeah, it works, it does. But you want the ultimate protection and uh, yeah, this is it. This is your ultimate Jackson case for Jackson guitars. Now, Jackson makes the ones without the logo as well for your standards. Um, inquire within to see if they do fit your Schecter or your Solar. Solar makes his own flight case, uh, own cases for the company. I'm not sure if he has flight cases, but there are various SKB cases that will fit your Offset Vs, your Randy Rhodes, your King Vs, your Schecters. Uh, your Les Paul, V's, Gibson stuff, all like that. So these are the ultimate, just like the other one. Same idea. Injection molded, durable, and safe, right? That's the main thing, is you want to be able to get to your destination in a safe manner. Lots of latches on this one. Basically protects, protects the whole gamut of your guitar. Right? She ain't going anywhere. She is in there. Same idea with the... Uh, the headstock on the padding, the padding kind of fits the same way, just slightly. If you want to put an extra pillow in there, you can. But the basic thing is down here, it is protected everywhere. All right? That's your main thing. There's your three levels of cases. Real simple. Bag, basic case, flight case. And, of course, those who have more money, you get your, uh, your coffins, right? You put three or four or five guitars in there road case but for your basic musicians who can't afford a coffin this is what you're looking for so there you go all right um comment down below what do you like i've seen other cases um over the years even recently that basically has um you know that'll fit two guitars two les pauls two strats or three uh there's some companies in europe that make uh, if you look at Ola England, same thing. You know, they make stand-up ones that basically take the whole top off and it becomes your guitar boat, which is great for live. Um, yeah. I have been Steve. You guys have been great. Comment down below. Smash the like. Thanks for watching this episode on protecting your gear. All right. See you guys.